Elon Musk's pioneering company, Neuralink, has made a groundbreaking announcement that could change the future of human interaction with technology. For the first time ever, they've successfully implanted a cutting-edge device into a human brain. This revolutionary development promises to unlock unprecedented possibilities for enhancing brain function, offering new hope for treating neurological disorders, and potentially paving the way for direct communication between the human mind and computers. As we stand on the brink of this new era, the world watches with bated breath to see how this technology will evolve and shape our future. In this video, we'll dive deeper into how this groundbreaking device is made and explore what's inside it. From the intricate design to the cutting-edge technology that powers it, we're uncovering the secrets behind Neuralink's innovation and how it promises to revolutionize our connection with the digital world. Neuralink's device is at the forefront of technology, thanks largely to its incredibly thin threads, each one finer than a human hair. These threads are a blend of advanced materials, primarily composed of polyamide, a biocompatible substance, which houses gold traces that conduct signals. This design is pivotal for the thread's role in connecting the human brain to computers. The creation of these threads involves a sophisticated manufacturing process, allowing for the production of devices with thousands of electrode contacts. Each thread contains multiple electrodes meticulously engineered to interact with the brain's neurons without causing significant displacement or harm. These electrodes on the threads are treated with special materials to improve their performance. For example, coatings like PDOT, PSS, and Iridium Oxide are applied to lower their impedance, which is a way of making them more efficient at transmitting brain signals. This is crucial for the thread's ability to both read brain activity accurately and stimulate neurons when needed. The process of making these threads is highly precise, ensuring they are thin enough to be safely inserted into the brain, yet robust enough to perform their complex functions. This involves cutting-edge techniques in microfabrication, a testament to Neuralink's commitment to pushing the boundaries of what's possible in brain-machine interfaces. In essence, these threads are the key to unlocking new possibilities in neuroscience and technology, offering a glimpse into a future where our brains can directly interface with digital devices. Through these tiny threads, Neuralink aims to revolutionize how we treat neurological disorders, restore lost functions, and even enhance human cognition. Now, let's shift our focus to the powerhouse of the Neuralink device, the chip. This component is far from ordinary. It's a marvel of modern engineering, embodying a complexity and precision that's simply breathtaking. Crafted through advanced photolithography, this chip integrates considerable amount of transistors onto a piece of silicon no larger than a coin, akin to condensing an entire city's infrastructure onto a single sheet of paper. At the heart of this technology is Neuralink's custom application-specific integrated circuit, ASIC, a masterpiece of miniaturization and efficiency. This ASIC, consisting of 256 individually programmable amplifiers, or analog pixels, on-chip analog-to-digital converters, ADCs, and peripheral control circuitry, tackles the immense challenge of chronic recording from thousands of electrode sites. It amplifies the faint whispers of neural signals, digitizes them, and streams the data for real-time processing, all while consuming minimal power. The need for such a sophisticated chip arises from the sheer density of recording channels. To manage this without unwieldy cables and connectors, the signal amplification and digitization stack is ingeniously integrated within the array assembly. Each analog pixel within the ASIC is a testament to the ingenuity of Neuralink's engineers, configurable to adapt to variations in signal quality and the surrounding electrophysiological environment, sampling signals at 19.3 kHz with 10-bit resolution, all while each pixel consumes just 5.2 microwatt of power. The chip not only serves as the device's control center, interpreting the electrical signals generated by our brain's neurons, but also facilitates two-way communication. Imagine controlling devices with your thoughts alone, bridging the gap between the human mind and machines in ways once deemed the realm of science fiction. As we look to the future, the potential for upgrading this chip is boundless. With advancements in technology, it could become smaller, faster, and even more powerful. Neuralink's modular recording platform, encapsulated in titanium cases and coated with Paralene C for durability, represents a leap forward in brain-machine interface technology. What powers this sophisticated system, ensuring its continuous operation? The answer lies in a compact yet formidable power source, the battery. The Neuralink N1 device is engineered to function continuously, 
powered by a meticulously designed battery system. When it comes time to recharge, the device employs wireless power transfer, a necessity given its fully implantable nature. This method of charging presents a unique set of challenges not encountered by typical consumer electronics which can often rely on physical connectors. One of the critical considerations is the absence of magnets for alignment, requiring the system to charge effectively over a range of positions without the need for precise alignment. Additionally, the charging system must be robust enough to withstand disturbances, deliver high charging rates to minimize inconvenience, and, paramount among these considerations, ensure safety. The device's design mandates that the implant surface temperature must not exceed a 2 degrees Celsius increase when in contact with brain tissue, a crucial factor for maintaining the integrity and safety of the neural environment. The current generation of Neuralink's charging mechanism is an innovative solution to these challenges, housed in an aluminum battery base. This base contains the essential drive circuitry and is paired with a remote coil significantly larger than the original design, enhancing its flexibility and charging efficiency. This coil's improved switching frequency enhances the coupling between the charger and the implant, facilitating better charging performance even over larger distances. However, as the coil comes closer to the implant, a peak splitting effect can occur, potentially affecting the efficiency of power transfer. To counteract this, Neuralink's team has developed a dynamic tuning system for their next-generation charger. This system adjusts the resonant frequencies of the transmit and receive coils in real time, maintaining optimal efficiency by adapting to changes before performance degrades. Looking to the future, Neuralink's electrical engineering team is in the process of developing a third-generation charger. This new charger aims to incorporate bi-directional near-field communication, reducing control latency and improving thermal regulation for even faster charging times. Such advancements highlight Neuralink's dedication to refining their technology, striving for an optimal balance between performance and user experience. Through these innovative developments, Neuralink is not just addressing the technical challenges of creating a fully implantable device, but is also setting new standards for the safety, efficiency, and convenience of medical device charging. As we contemplate the future, the potential for further advancements in this area remains vast, promising even more seamless integration of technology into our daily lives. Last but not least, let's take a look at the biocompatible enclosure, the protective shield for this marvel of technology. This isn't your average casing, it's a testament to the marvels of material science, specifically designed to nestle comfortably within the human body. The enclosure is made from a type of biocompatible material that is highly resistant to corrosion and degradation. This means it's designed to last, reducing the risk of the body rejecting the implant or causing any adverse reactions. This isn't a simple task. The material has to be strong enough to protect the delicate electronics within, while also being flexible enough to move with the body's natural rhythms. This biocompatible enclosure undergoes a rigorous testing and certification process to ensure its safety. It's put through a series of in vitro and in vivo tests, checking for any potential toxicity or adverse reactions. It's a lengthy process but it's one that ensures the safety and compatibility of the device with the human body. One of the unique design features of this enclosure is its ability to minimize the body's foreign object response. You see, when a foreign object is introduced into the body, our natural defense mechanisms kick in. This can lead to inflammation and scar tissue formation around the implant, which could potentially interfere with its function. But thanks to the enclosure's unique design and material, this reaction is significantly reduced. Imagine a suit of armor, specifically designed for the Neuralink chip, providing it with the protection it needs while ensuring it can function optimally. This isn't just about protection, it's about creating a harmonious relationship between technology and biology. This enclosure is like the skin, protecting the device from the external environment while keeping it safe and biocompatible. It's a remarkable feat of engineering that showcases the intricate balance between technology and the human body. It's not just about creating a device that can interface with the brain, it's about designing one that can live within us, becoming a part of us. This is the marvel of the Neuralink protective enclosure. As we wrap up our journey into the world of Neuralink, let's revisit our initial question. We've explored the intricate threads that connect the device to our neurons, the heart of the device, the chip, the lifeline that powers it all, the battery, and the biocompatible enclosure that ensures safety and compatibility. As we stand on the precipice of this new era, 
The question is no longer if we can merge humans and computers, but how we will navigate this new reality.